Welcome back everyone. Today we got the 579 XP project. This started out as a 565, blacked it out, and we bored it, we sleeved it, using 3mm oversized piston. Still has the stratos and everything intact. So we'll get that all done, poured it up a little bit, put it on, and we're going to test this one in some wood today. So we'll see what it can do. If it holds up, falls apart, you guys will see. Alrighty, here we have new Husqvarna 565 and a big pot of black writ dye. We're going to black this one out. The recoil, top cover, gas tank, car box, and those clips. I'm going to try and dye them all black. Be my first time dyeing one, so we'll see how it goes. Loosen it up, move it off the bar, run the spindle up. That way we don't have to hone the drag mark out. Here's the finished board cylinder. It has a couple marks up here, but those should hone out. Overall, pretty smooth the way it is. Now we can get it sized and mocked up. Here we go. Look at there. What's that pile of parts and pieces? Blacked out the 565. Why would you do that? I don't know, because I wanted to. And this is going to be the big bore cylinder we're going to try out on it. It's a board over 572 cylinder. Going to get it all fitted up. I have it all honed to size. So I'll get it all fitted up, mocked up, and we're going to see if we can make this run. This will be a 579 XP. Be right at 79 cc's. No stuffer. And we'll see what happens. So I'll start putting this back together. That way I can get it mocked up. Well, it looks like most all of the orange plastic took pretty well. These clips didn't die very well, but they're a little bit darker. Recoil did well. Tank did well. Top cover looks good. So I think this uh, gray and black scheme ought to work out pretty good. Just sitting here for a photo op. Nothing's bolted down. Everything just kind of hanging out. Here we have the big bore cylinder. Iron sleeve that's going to 51 millimeter. And I need to add some notches to it. So I'm going to start working on this and I'll come back once it's ready to bolt down. Then we can check the squish, lay out the ports, and see how it's going to go. Just like that. I'll grind those spots out. And that'll let me get it fitted down onto the case and we can check squish and go from there. So I'll be back. Alright, here it is, notched out. It sits down in there good. I checked the squish and we landed right at 26 thousandths. So I'll get this set on, put some marks in there, and then we can start poking the ports through. Had to add a hole in there, that way I can see where the intake port's going to line up at. I'm going to lay this one out at 102, 120. Since this saw doesn't have the stuffers, we'll give it a touch more blow down than most of the auto tunes. And we'll see how it lays out in these ports. Well, here's the ported big bore. Widen the exhaust, set the uppers, match the intake. Did a little bit with the stratos, just poke those through. Blended in the lowers, and so we got 80 on the intake, 120 on the uppers, and the exhaust at 102. Notch the lowers, and we're gonna put it together now. It's at about three and a half thousandths bore clearance. It's a little bit loose, but we'll try that out, see how it goes. Alrighty, we'll get this stuck down. Right. 
Well, that's a pretty good feeling right there. Finally getting this one together. And it goes up and down. Now let's see if we can get it to go up and down by itself. This one here got a real big muffler mod. Just because it's a bigger saw and we wanted to try it out. All right, put the spark plug in, top cover on, air filter. Oh boy. Moment of truth is almost here. There it is. Throw some fuel in it and we'll see if it fires up. I sure hope so. That works, that's a good sign. All righty. Oh, I heard it. Seventy-nine XP actually ran. Pretty cool. Alrighty, here's some of the first cuts on the 579. Wanted to get some good heat in the cylinder, make sure it's going to hold up. Let the ring seat in before I put on the dyno. So we'll get it fired up and see what it can do.
back on the bench. This one would run good, cut good, even tuned all right, but it would not return to idle. So I was trying to do the reset and it was not giving it quite enough fuel up top. So she scored on it. So I'm gonna pull it back down, see what we can do with it. Still hot, just got done running it. But that's why I wanted to get some time on it, just to see what it was gonna do. Still toasty. Well, it looks like that might have actually been the problem there. See the little brown spots? Looks like some fuel mix is actually blowing through. Blowing through underneath the base. There was a little bit down here on the case. I wiped it off already. But you can kind of see. Oh, that's hot. There's the little score on the piston, and you can see the same thing. The case looks like it was leaking by right through here. So what I'm going to do, it's not a bad score. I'm just going to clean that up. Just a little bit of transfer in there. We'll get that all cleaned up, and it'll be good to go. Well, the piston cleaned up good, cylinder cleaned up good. Swap those rings around, cleaned them up a little bit. That'll work for what we're doing. Have a little bit of JB Weld in the cylinder. Those strato ports. Those strato ports were a little bit too low. They were opening, letting the piston free port them a little bit. And I think that was kind of one of our problems. Between the stratos free porting down into the case, the leaky base, and I think that might have been part of our problem. So we're going to fix those two things and we'll get this put back together. But overall, I'm pretty happy with round one. Let me know what you guys think. You like seeing builds like this? Waste of time? Should have built the steel? Let me know. Thanks a lot, everyone.